You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. So yesterday here on Roller Martin Unfiltered, I talked about all of this drama uh, surrounding uh, activist Tamika Mallory and the criticism by uh, Samaria Rice uh, and others about her and Sean King and attorney Ben Crump, as well as uh, the folks from um, Black Lives Matter. And, and, and it's been r really interesting uh, watching these folks. And, and, and now you got some folks uh, all mad and upset. Oh, my goodness, you sitting here, uh, 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 you defending your friend. No, no, we're talking about what's truth and what's fiction. Um, Yesterday, I also showed a tweet that I referenced was Lisa Simpson. It was not her, so that was my mistake. I got no problem admitting when I made a, make a mistake. But when will the haters, when, when will the Tamika Mallory haters also admit they made make a mistake? So, um, I talked to Tamika today. And this is what Tamika told me. Anybody calling her a shyster, anybody saying that she has taken advantage of families, that she has raised money uh, and for folks and kept the money, she says she will debate any of y'all on any public platform at any time. She said, point blank, she will not have the conversation in private. So, to, to, to the Wilcox woman out there, to all y'all running y'all mouths, calling her a celebrity activist, she kept it simple. She said, come on. She said she'll come on Roller Martin Unfiltered and debate any of these people or any other public platform. Now the ball's in your court. In fact, uh, she, was out of, she was out of the country. She flew, she flew, she flew back. Uh, and, and, and this is what uh, th this is what she tweeted because some fool was sitting here uh, 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 trying to talk some trash, um, and this is what and she was responding uh, to go to go to my computer please because uh, this is what I tweeted. I, well, I just told you I just talked to Tamika, and then this fool says SMA she hasn't responded to, uh, all of this time on any public platform, and now all of a sudden you talk to her and she's ready. How much did you offer Roland SMH? Tamika said you got the receipts. Whoever it is, I'm prepared. Let me know what's good and when. Not behind the scenes, but in front. Bring everything that you er, everything you have. What's the date? And make sure you bring the receipts of what you've been doing too. Let's go. That was sent at 6.47 p.m. today, March 23rd, 2021. See, it's real easy to sit here uh, and talk all y'all want to. It's real easy. Tamika posted this. Y'all lie so much behind damn keyboards. I spoke on all of this on a public platform days ago. But y'all liars just like to talk. So since you know so much about me and what I do and how I operate, let me know when you are ready for a public conversation. Hmm. Matter of fact, one of the people who was sitting here, uh, uh, again, she was the one who was sitting out here uh, posting demands and stuff like that, and, and, and I actually um, uh, uh, sent her a tweet. And, and I said, what, what, let, me, let me pull it up. I said, because Tamika says she'll talk to any of y'all. But, but, but I noticed that homegirl has been real quiet. See, it's, it's real easy to sit here and talk a whole lot of trash. It's real easy to try to sully someone's name and reputation, but when they stand up, when they are ready uh, to challenge you, ooh, folk get quiet. Others try to say that, well, Roland, you giving folks a pass. No, I don't. What I have said and what I will continue to say 
is that if we if, if we gonna sit here and do this, you might want to have some facts to back you up. Because see, if you're gonna question the integrity of people out there who are on the front lines, yeah, you are going to have to bring more than just uh, your simpleton tweets and Instagram posts and social media posts. And all I'm saying is, she said, let's not have it private. Let's have it public. I'm bringing my panel here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to find this person's tweet because I did send her uh, a particular tweet saying, where you at? What you want to do? Benjamin, wh what do you make of these attacks on, and again, th these, these attacks have been on, th they were levied by Samaria Rice and this other mother, Lisa Simpson, who lost a son in Los Angeles. They attacked Tamika Mallory, Sean King, Ben Crump, Black Lives Matter. And I have been specifically defending Tamika Mallory because she's been in the game 25 years. And so when someone tries to call her a celebrity activist, come on now. What, what are your thoughts, Ben? Roland, I'm conflicted, to be honest with you. Um, I listened to the interview that uh, Tamir Rice's mother did with, um, I think it was Urban XM for Sirius. Yeah, it was uh, uh, Clay Kane. Clay, yeah, Clay Kane. And, and it was a compelling interview. Um, you know, the and I don't know a lot about uh, Tamika Mallory's activism, so I can't speak to her specifically. But I will say that those of us who are in the social media spaces and those of us who are who have our platforms amplified and we're we're larger than life i think sometimes that we may not take in consideration or maybe we should take even in more consideration the impact that's that perceived celebrity can have on what we're trying to accomplish. And, and I know that may be asking a lot of people who are busy doing what they're doing, um, but honestly, I try to take that into consideration every single day. Like, whatever, whatever I do and whatever I say, I wanna make sure that my good is not evil spoken of, and sometimes that requires that I go above and beyond to make sure, and I think that that is a necessary burden because the lights, the cameras, the flashing, the glamorous, the ring lights that we have, the the you know, the filters that we have in the background, sometimes that could be taken the wrong way. So I think it's incumbent upon us who have these platforms to just be extra mindful of it. And I'm not saying that Tamika is not, but in other spaces, I know that that is something that is lacking. Well, here's the deal, though, Teresa. The more popular you get, the others might deem you a celebrity. But here's the whole deal. If you want to criticize Tamika when she was at the Grammys... You wasn't seeing shit when she was arrested in Louisville. Correct. You wasn't seeing shit when they were there till 4 o'clock in the morning bailing other people out. The folks wasn't saying a damn thing when we were with them in Georgia as they were canvassing door to door on the last weekend encouraging folks to vote. We were there. Our cameras were there. And, and in fact, uh, one of the women here, um, uh, he, he, here it is. There's this, this, uh, I'm gonna show you this here. Uh, and uh, th this woman, this R.A. Wilcox, go to my computer, please. She goes, journalism is in crisis. Celebrities, celebrity activists are going so hard to discredit these mothers with no regard for who they are or their stories. Roland Martin doesn't even know Lisa Simpson's story, yet has an opinion. Uh, and she says, uh, thinks that I'm Lisa Simpson. And I said, going hard, I said, if I can admit the mistake, I said, but can you admit that Tamika Mallory had no involvement in the Tamir Rice case? She was, this other person says, as soon as you admit that you seem very confused about the topic at hand, when did the family ever say that she was involved in the Tamir Rice case? Journalism requires familiarity with at least the basic facts of an issue. Well, someone else responded to that woman, Lola, by saying uh, that Samaria Rice did on Clay Kane's uh, show. I didn't see it. Where's the evidence that Tamika used Tamir on a flyer? Put him on a shirt, raise money in his name. If you're going to accuse someone, then provide the receipts. That's all I'm saying. This Wilcox woman. Samara has been very clear that her critiques of Tamika are not exclusive to Tamir. Her critiques of Tamika are because she sees that she is doing to other families what Sharpton, Crump, and King have done to her. Tamika has done everything you just named to other families. Tamika responds, 
I'm now asking you to prove it publicly in my face. This ain't hard. Just prove where I did any of this. My issue is with you since you seem to be the one pushing the lies. The families I work with have asked me to go harder and do more. Every single one of them. See, th this is what I... See, this was my whole point yesterday, Teresa. If you're going to call somebody's name, back it up. If you're going to call somebody out, bring the receipts. But if you ain't got receipts, you deserve to be called out. One lie of speculation goes into another point of um, non-justification of the facts. So it's essential that we understand what Tamika's purpose is. She is the millennial voice that has been an advocate in the struggle, started a nonprofit organization that helps people for free, and also was raising money, I believe, even on a cash app, to, to try to bring some funding in, not even going to, to grant and other foundations to, in order to get that support that other nonprofit organizations does. She is a relevant voice in the movement. She is the reason why families are out here on the front lines uh, getting the acknowledgement that is necessary. They call Tamika because Tamika gets results. They call Ben Crump because Ben Crump gets results. They called Al Sharpton because he gets results. No one's calling those other names that are on Twitter accounts bashing people who get results. It's very unfortunate that you start to see our people do this to each other because in, in, a, in a certain manner, it's like you, you can only be at a, a certain pinnacle when it comes to uh, getting relief. We've been fighting for the same struggle. There, it, Honestly, there shouldn't be a celebrity advocate in criminal justice reform. We should just be getting the reform. But since we've been fighting for the same rights, for the same civil liberties, for the same gun violence, for, for the same privileges that every white, black, and Asian American in this United States should have, then yes, we are going to get scrutiny. We are going to get persecuted. But again, there should not be any advocates, celebrity advocates in the first place if we all had equal rights. <clears throat> so it's very unfortunate that, you know, our sister in the struggle, who is fearless, who literally could have picked any job, probably could have been CEO of another company, decided that this, you know, and again, I'm, I'm somebody who is not on the, on the level of Tamika by any means, but I am an admirer of her work and many other women who are celebrities, who she has pulled in under her ranks and said, listen, fight with me, stand with me. This is the reason why. And she's very articulate in, in her process. So when, when we tear each other down and when we can't provide facts, we also perpetuate this, this false notion that, again, Black people don't stick together, we're crabs in a barrel, and that we never get things done and division always wins. So why won't we try something different and maybe we can get out the struggle? The, the, this is what I found to be to, to be real interesting. And matter of fact, somebody just posted this, and, and I'm gonna pull it up because all these folk uh, were, were attacking. All these folk were, uh, were attacking um, uh, Tamika and Until Freedom, Michael, for a series of events that took place in Louisville for Breonna Taylor. People did not like the name Breonna Khan. Uh, what, 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 Y'all doing this big old barbecue. What, what's going on? It took place on August 23rd. I had one, I, I had one person, you know what? Let, let me just go ahead and, and uh, make him real famous. You could take it down. I, I had one guy uh, on uh, Twitter, uh, Michael, who was angry and upset. He <laughs> called the barbecue tacky. He attacked the event. What was interesting, Michael, about him attacking the event is that Brianna Mamas helped plan it. Brianna's yeah. mama, Brianna's mama was there. And I said, oh, so are you calling Brianna's mama tacky? 
<laughs> I then said, um, and uh, it's this fool right here. Go, go to my computer right now. <laughs> this fool galvanizing the lazies. Yo ass lazy. <laughs> because he was the one, uh, 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 I'm sorry, uh, or she, I can't tell she. She lazy. <laughs> I mean, you, she, hold up. Just, I, I, I'm trying to find it. I, I really want y'all to see what she posted. She, po she really posted that it was tacky. And I said, you are talking about an event her mama was involved with. Hmm. And I said, so you calling, you call, here it is. It was exploitive and disingenuous not to mention very tacky and telling. Mama could have been there all through and through. She was grieving, but these folks that came up with the barbecue were calculating in their goal, which was not to bring justice, but to commercialize real trauma. They were giving away food to the community. They were rallying the community. They were giving away food for free to the community. They had they had pound discussions around it. The whole point was to keep the pressure on the city of Louisville to fire the cops, to have the charges, and to impact the settlement, which they did. So how so so I'm trying to understand, Michael. Samaria Rice and Lisa Simpson, they get to tell some other mama what they can do? <laughs> Does Samaria Rice, and I'm not attacking them, I'm asking a basic question. Does Samaria Rice and Lisa Simpson get to tell some other mother and father how they should interact with activists to get justice for their children? If Samaria Rice and Lisa Simpson want to speak on behalf of their cases and their children, that's perfectly fine with me. They don't get to tell Breonna Taylor's mama how she should in engage and who, who she should engage with. That, to me, is the problem here, Michael. That you are saying, oh, you've done this with other families. Have you talked to them? Have you reached out to them? I was on uh, Tamika's page where numerous mothers and fathers were like, thank you for calling me. My child was killed eight years ago and you're still staying in touch. Come on, man. I I I'm not going to sit here and be silent as I watch individuals like Tamika put it on the line, staying with families, and folks tear them down and can't bring no receipts. I think the other problem, Roland, is the problem with this pandemic is people just are sitting around on their computers all day long trying to figure out what to do and say after their Zoom call at work that lasts a few minutes. And, there, it, you know, obviously jealousy plays a role, as, as uh, my, my, I co-signed with what my uh, co-panelists have just said. What, what is interesting to me, who, who created this sorry-ass title of celebrity activist? It's, it's stupid because so what if somebody's been toiling in the weeds all day long and get invited to an award show, what, they shouldn't be able to go? If you have the ability, was, was, was King a celebrity activist? Was Malcolm X? Was Harriet Tubman? I mean, it's so, it's so stupid because just because we have to distinguish someone, to, an activist who's toiling in the, in the, in the field gets press coverage to you, that means celebrity. To other people, that means I'm just toiling in, and the press is coming and asking me questions. And for people to conflate them, and then you have the haters, of course, as you've mentioned, and jealousy, it's, it's unfortunate. When people are, uh, you know, people grieve the way they want to grieve. And you can't tell them what's right and wrong when you're sitting up on your couch with your computer in your hand. So I think more support would be better uh, rather than knocking people down. Here's the thing for me, Benjamin. I, 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 I'm sitting here on Tamika's Instagram page. Th this is what I see right here. I see right here, Sabrina Fulton. Tamika Mallory, I'm still with you because you are still with me. So does that mama count? Um, a person over here, uh, 
Trakesia Clemens. Since day one of my assault, she has been by my side. So, d d does her voice matter as well? Um, I can go down here, and, and there are some other mothers and fathers uh, who, who were on the page uh, talking about how they've stood with them, how Until Freedom uh, has been with them. I can go down here. See, see, that is the problem I have here, Benjamin. That when you have th this person, uh, uh, this uh, this uh, Wilcox, um, who, who's on posting stuff, and the demands are they must step down, they must hold no news conferences, make any public statements, they must do nothing, as if you got the right to tell somebody else how to use the First Amendment. Yeah, um, I think we I think we have a lot of a lot of things that are being like slammed into one here, um, and I think again I can't speak to Tamika Mallory's work because I don't know enough about her individual work outside of what I see on social media, but I do know that there is a justice industrial complex where people capitalize and monetize on the deaths, whether whether they want to or not, whether they think they're doing it or not, they're literally are able to make entire careers off the blood of people's children. Um, and of course, in that category of people who have lost their children, the most grievous of categories that we all hold no one else could ever be in, they're gonna have difference of opinions. And some are going to stand with Tamika Mallory. And again, I don't know enough about her work, so I wouldn't dare put my name, my word against her. But in this space, there are people who take advantage of, of these situations. Right, right. Both for building their platforms, both for their voices to be amplified and both for opportunities to make some money. And all and, I'm and saying, I... Ben, all I'm saying is, if you're going to make that allegation, back it up. Yeah. But well, don't I make think, the allegation and you can't back it up. I think some people could. Um, maybe not with Tamika, but I think some, in some cases it could be made. But I would say... But here's the deal, too. though. I ain't talking about somebody else. See, I'm real clear who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. See, what I'm arguing here, if you gonna lump Tamika in with Black Lives Matter, in with Sean King, in with Ben Crump, and attack all these people, you better have the receipts for all of them. Look, Ashley Yates, who's an activist, Ashley put out a tweet, that, and, and, and I responded to her. Uh, and I I'll pull it up. And, and look, I've had Ashley on before. <laughs> uh, we've communicated. We've talked. I ain't got no problem uh, with her. I've seen her critiques uh, before. Uh, and, and so uh, I, I ain't got no problem with it. Uh, and, the, uh, uh, and so uh, I had posted my tweet about going hard, nope, demanding truth and not opinion. Go to my computer. Too many people on social media are responding to non-facts. Go to my computer. Come on. If I made a mistake, I can admit that. Ashley says, Roland, don't do this because you know that's not true. You've given these shysters a pass for years, refusing to ask the hard questions or present the hard evidence while still inviting them on your show to further their lies and propaganda. Maintaining access is costly. I responded, are you saying Tamika is a shyster? Why? Spell it out. Who else? Name names. Don't hide behind shysters. Be specific if you got a gripe. Bring receipts. I've asked more hard questions than anyone else. I don't need to maintain access. I said, hell, I've had you on too. See, that's all I'm saying. Don't, don't, don't throw it out. If you can't back it up, don't group everybody. If you can't back it up, your critique of everybody. That's all I'm, that's all I'm sitting here saying. Truth is truth, uh, <coughs> Teresa. Truth is truth. And either we gonna have a truthful conversation or we gonna have an emotional, fictional conversation. But the danger in attacking people with lies that you can't prove is you are impugning their integrity. You are dishonoring their name. And by you trying to cast doubt into who they are, I will never forget Teresa in 1988 
Max Robinson, the first black nightly newscast anchor, was speaking at Howard University. His body was riddled with AIDS. He was frail and thin. And he said at Howard University, never, ever lose your integrity or your credibility because in the end, that's all you've got. Yeah, and it's, it's especially true for black people. I mean, how many times have we seen elect elected officials, I mean, i.e. Governor uh, of New York and Governor Cuomo, he has uh, over 10 allegations against him, even a current one sitting in his office. And yet, he, you know, he, he's still in office. Um, and so it's like, you know, when African Americans pr particularly are in these positions fighting for, like, rights, not running for public office, but literally fighting for justice and fighting, fighting for strength of others, it's just interesting, you know, where the attacks are coming from. It's coming from our own. And it's, it's so unfortunate and, and it's just so disheartening, really, that we, even if you're not in the inner circle, you can't support on the outer circle. And then when other people are asking you to literally pull receipts, show us the facts, Give us the recordings. Give us something that show us that what you're saying to tear down another African-American woman or male, someone who is on the front line fighting for families, that you know this is wrong or that some truth is in, is in somewhere. Or maybe have a larger conversation. Because, you know, like uh, Brother Benjamin said, yes, there are people out there who, who do this, uh, but they don't last. So those who, you know, have been out there, you know, and and, and getting uh, some of those uh, offerings, right? I mean, let's just call it what it is. You, you know, we have some past elected officials or those who were never elected, and I don't want to mention their names, but, you know, every time they have a speaking engagement, it's a half a million dollars a year. Why? What have you done? And so part of the problem is those who are not getting those type of uh, funding opportunities um, when they haven't done the work as much, it's, it's just disheartening to, to tear down someone who has really been putting up the fight and just tearing down each other when we're really trying to all come out of this together. Again here, here's my whole deal. If you got a problem with Sean King, say it. Produce your information. If you got a problem with Black Lives Matter, say it. Produce your information. If you got a problem with Ben Crump, say it. Produce your information. You got a problem with Tamika Mallory, say it. Produce your information. But if you can't produce the information, we got a right to fire back at you and say, why did you create all this dissension based upon lies? Because, see... Here's the thing that I said yesterday, Mike, and we got to be real damn careful. You got these dumbasses like this fool, Deja Gajur. Uh, Roland Martin profits the most from black pain. Without black pain, there would be no Roland Martin. He even created to keep shows on a lot of his lies and propaganda. Deja, bring your ass. <laughs> bring your ass, Deja. Deja, I'll call you out. D-E-J-A-G-I-G-U-E-R-E. -E. Bring your ass. First of all, on this show, we highlight black success, black-owned businesses, black experts, black coronavirus experts, black doctors, black lawyers, black engineers, HBCUs. We talk about Black advancement, black economic advancement. But see, silly ass folks like you, Deja, hop your little lying ass on YouTube and smack your damn gums and you ain't done a damn thing. See, all y'all folk who want to say, well, Tamika ain't done this, ain't done that, what are you done? What are you done? I, in, in fact, uh, I, I, had, I had some fool while we were sitting here. First of all, you know what? All right, let me just go ahead and show. Go to my computer. See, since folk want to be famous today, <laughs> see, since you want to run your damn miles, since you want to be uh, Twitter famous, uh, 
This fool right here, uh, T. Lar Supreme, yeah, professional troll. That's exactly what you are. You got 32 weak ass followers. <laughs> <laughs> First, he tried to criticize me having ascot. Then I told the fool I had my own line of ascots, which means I own my company. Oh, well, then his attitude changed. Uh, uh, I, I, I love this here. I hope instead of having, uh, see, I, let me just show y'all. Let me show y'all what happens when you embarrass trolls who have 32 followers, T. Lars Supreme. And then they want to get super black conscious when you embarrass they punk asses. <laughs> right here. Uh, he's just mad you asked him to do his job instead of uh, ascot shopping. I've got my own line. No need to shop. Next. Uh, LOL. Proud of having a line of ascots. The comedy writes itself. Nah, idiot. I own my own company. Oh, I hope instead of having petty, insecure Twitter squabbles because hit dogs will holler, you take some of those profits from your own company to actually support on the ground organizers working on protecting black lives from police violence. See, that's what happens when you get embarrassed and now you want to get conscious. <laughs> Uh, T. Lars Supreme, holler at me when you get to 35 followers. Mike, go ahead. I, I really don't know what to add to that, Roland. I mean, you, you've laid it out. You give people an opportunity uh, to come back, and then when you, you know, hit them back harder with facts, that, you know, that they, they crumble. Like any troll, like any schoolyard bully, it's the same uh, process with anybody. You stand up to them, and then they quiver. And we'll see what kind of tweets you get later today or tonight or tomorrow about this conversation, but uh, you laid it all out. I really have not much to add. You, you, you put it where it needed to be put. All right, folks, back to our whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it, please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.